Hi there guys and gals, my name is Brian Shannon. I'm a Storm brand ambassador and this is a video ball review for the upcoming summer releases, the Matchup Black Pearl and the Intense Fire. There's a little bit about me and the shots demonstrated here are all on a typical house shot, a little bit burned from League the Night Before. Here you see the layout on the three balls that we're going to look at first. There's the Intense Fire on the left, Code Red in the middle, and the original Intense on the right. The Code Red and Intense Fire are actually laid out the same in a 5x4x3 layout, and the original Intense is actually laid out a little bit weaker, as you can see. And you'll see that in the ball reaction here as well. First few shots here are going to be with the Intense Fire, and you'll be able to see kind of how the ball goes through the pins. I was able to play a little bit deeper than I normally am on the house shot, probably due to play from the night before, but uh, you'll see it rolls really, really strong through the mid lane. Uh, I actually did include a shot here at the end that I uh, miss right, so you'll be able to see not quite uh, the recovery when it gets that far out, but uh, still rolls really, really good through the mid lane. Next up will be the code red in the same spot. You'll see it goes a little bit longer down the lane and leaves a pretty weak 10. So I was able to move right and got it to face up a little bit better. Uh, moved a two and one right, was able to get it up. So you kind of see the difference between the two balls where the intense fire does roll a little bit earlier than the code red. Next up, I'll compare the original Intense. I threw the first shot here, uh, same spot that I was standing with my Intense Fire, and you'll see Ball just never really had a prayer. So I ended up moving five and three right with my feet and eyes, respectively. And you'll be able to see the ball is able to make the corner, but uh, goes quite a bit longer than the Intense Fire, and uh, the roll is just uh, way, way later. Next up, I'll move over to comparison of the other new summer release, which is the Matchup Black Pearl, you'll see on the left there. So it comes in a 2000 grit Aberlon finish out of the box and really makes a big difference for what I've been able to see in comparison to the others in the Matchup line. I really do think this ball is going to be just a house shot killer. I think this is probably going to give the Roto-Grip Hustle Inc. A, the, a run for its money in terms of the best value out there. This ball really, really rolls really good. Um, I love solid colored equipment, and this ball is... Uh, no no different. It rolls really, really strong. Um, the two that I'll be comparing it to... Uh, from a layout perspective, I have my phase two laid out the same. So that's what you'll see in the middle there. And then from a line perspective, uh, I will also compare it to the matchup hybrids. Here's a couple of shots with the matchup Black Pearl. Uh, first one's pretty good. Next couple, they were sort of off hits, and I wanted to show that this ball really does kind of carry those off hits uh, where, you know, sometimes less expensive pieces of equipment or simpler cores will not carry those hits, um, but I have not found that to be the case with this ball. It really kind of seems like it, it gets those weird hits that uh, lower-end equipment sometimes doesn't seem to get. Next up, I'll show you my phase two laid out the same, but actually a little bit of polish on it. And you'll see I stood in the same spot. First shot rings a 10, and then I go one and one back to the right, and it actually goes through the pins a lot better. So uh, on this particular condition, my matchup Black Pearl was a little bit stronger than my phase two. And finally, you'll see the matchup hybrid here. So I sit in the same spot as I did the matchup Black Pearl, and you'll see first shot doesn't even sniff at the head pin. Uh, leave it 2-8. I ended up going 3-2 and two to the right, and you'll see it kind of comes in lazy. Still gets the 5 out, which something to be said for that. 
So then I end up moving one and one more to the right, and you'll see the ball kind of go through the pins how you want to see it go. So all told, about four and three, more hook out of the matchup Black Pearl. So overall, I think both these balls are going to be a huge hit for Storm. Uh, they both look really good. They have a lot of shelf appeal. Uh, like I said, solid black ball on the matchup. You can't go wrong with that. And the intense fire is the first time that I can recall that Storm has put out a quad color ball. So very striking and sort of a different look than any any piece of equipment that uh, that I think is out there currently. They both smell really good as well. So the matchup is a berry, almost like a bubble gum, and the intense fire is a cinnamon. Uh, so they both smell really good. They both look really good. So come June the 15th, worldwide release date, definitely think you should stop by your local uh, Storm VIP Pro Shop, pick one up. If you have any questions on either of these balls, certainly feel free to hit me up either in the comments or on Facebook. Thanks for taking the time.